Welcome back to Sovina Everything, guys. Today is going to be a good day. Omar is laughing at the camera. He's like, yeah, oh yeah. All right, so today we got fresh, very fresh mahi mahi. And um, I didn't do any, anything much, really. All I did with the mahi mahi was a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. Obviously, we, we cannot live without this. Butter, butter, butter. And we got some lemon in there. And that's pretty much it. So, um, good thing about mahi mahi for fish tacos, tacos is that it has a little harder texture and I'm going to cook a little hot uh, so that it keeps it firm because if you have like a snapper or something, it just fall apart completely. So I'm going to cook it at 1.30 in the water bath for two hours. Now I know it's going to be cooked a lot faster than that, it's probably going to take just one hour but we can leave it there and we eat it when we're ready. That's what's the great thing about sous vide. Yo, Ninja, come here. Come here, bro. Come here, bro. Look what we're gonna have today. Today's specially for you, bro, because I know you like this. Ooh. Guess what? That's too little. That's not enough? No. <laughs> come on, bro, you're gonna die, bro. I'm gonna die, yeah. But fish tacos, bro. We're gonna good, make man. fish tacos. Are you excited? Ninja, seriously, that's not enough, bro. You better shit. It doesn't work like that. Come on, man. Yesterday with the tuna, you ate the whole damn tuna by yourself. No, it's... Come on, bro. Today, you're gonna share. Listen, I ate the crabs, I ate the tuna. Okay, here's uh, one of the awesome reasons why Sufid is so amazing. We got caught up a little bit, and uh, Mamazinho got, uh, was on the phone, and he wouldn't stop talking on the phone. I'm like, Mama, we hungry. And uh, it's actually been three hours. Uh, that we put this here. I only wanted to keep it for two hours, but let's check it out. That's the awesome thing about sous vide. You can live a little bit longer, get everything ready, and no problem at all. Let's take it out of the bag. It's ready. Okay, so from previous experience with our fish, we have decided that fish taste better without being seared. There's no need to sear it. Unless you want to sear it on the pan, then that's probably good. But we don't have that option here. We only have the Caesar. So no searing today. Okay, it looks awesome. Now we're gonna have Chef Ninja give it a try. He also made a nice avocado salad for us. Look at that. That looks good. I know the tacos are gonna be amazing. Let's just try the actual fish. Uh, the mahi mahi fish. Yeah, I'm not worried about anything else. This is what really matters to me. Mmm. Oh wow. Is it good? Mm. No sear. We just crumbled no, it. No need. Perfect. Juicy, salty. It's perfect. It's right there. The flavor of the mahi mahi, everything is there. Nice. Let me give it a try. Oh, yeah. Mmm, it's nice, juicy. Even though we cooked it for so long, normally it would have been a lot faster. It still came out perfect. Okay, guys, well, fish is perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And we're gonna catch you on the next one. These guys is driving me crazy because we have other guys here working in the office and they're like, we wanna eat the taco, we wanna eat the taco. So let's call them up. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Make sure you subscribe and like the video. Okay, come on in, guys. Ah, you I'm hungry? Ready? Oh, wow. <laughs>
Dan? I love it. 